should definitely go to Pike Place, see the original Starbucks. You should definitely go up the road and go to the Starbucks Roastery. But if you want a good cup of coffee close to the convention center, go to Monorail. Good morning, and welcome once again to the Washington State Convention Center. I'm here for two days for a new conference that I've never been to before. Of course, I always come to the AAS meeting, the American Astronomical Society meeting, but this week in Seattle we have the AAAS, that's the American Association for the Advancement of Science. So it's not just astronomers, there's all kinds of scientists here. This is my first AAAS meeting, I've always wanted to go to one. So it's 8.30 in the morning, I'm here nice and early, um, there's one session already started, but the uh, Poster all hasn't opened yet, so we're going to go check that out in just a few minutes. There's a lot of focus at this meeting about science communication, science policy, uh, and a bunch of interesting sessions this morning about ethics and mentorship. So I'm really excited about that. Let's check it out. Overall, the clinicians really found the intervention extremely useful. Uh, they like that the intervention is being offered in non-traditional settings, that they can deliver the intervention by phone, we don't have a lot of great evidence about who participates in citizen science, but the evidence we do have suggests that participation is biased towards white and upper middle class populations. If we're explicitly aware of issues power, privilege, and inequity, and we explicitly address them in citizen, citizen science projects, we can enable learning for all participants. And if we explicitly address them with an eye towards helping people contribute to and critique the process of epistemologies of science, we create opportunities for that. I need to find out how to start hanging out with those guys. Smartphone microscope. I hope you will take one of those. They're really neat. Okay, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I'm just getting in here and checking out the exhibition hall. It's about half the size of a AAS. They've got the room cut down to about half, but it's totally full of exhibitions. There's no posters. I'm sitting inside of pod number four, and these pods have these big screens and iPads, and apparently the posters are all digital. They're e-posters, so I'm gonna come back and check this out later. So far, lots of great stickers. A smartphone microscope, which I'm super excited about checking out later. Even though the exhibition hall is smaller than AAS, I count at least three stages where things are happening, where people are talking. One of the things I'm really excited to check out is there's live podcast recording going on, so you can sit and watch a podcast be recorded. I'm not sure which stage that's happening on. And so far I'm impressed. The attitude is great. I've seen lots of science from robotics to genome to molecular biology. In a few minutes I'll go upstairs for one of the main astronomy talks where actually a few of my friends will be speaking, so that'll be cool. Let's keep looking around. And this was the pale blue dot that Carl Sagan then spoke about very eloquently. Just two days ago, NASA released a new version of this, taking advantage of 30 years of improvements of technology in image processing. And here is the new pale blue dot image. Our first speaker is Courtney Dressing. You can imagine it as, as having the sun as a campfire and Proxima Centauri is a little tiny candle that you're trying to use to pick your s'mores. You have to get really close in. All over the place, 250 tiny little red stars, known as red dwarfs. I love these stars because they're relatively easy targets for looking for planets. But some of my colleagues who work at other parts of astronomy hate them. They call them the vermin of the sky because they get in the way. This is a story that I like to call the pale orange dot. And it's a story that takes place very deep back in time in early Earth's history. I want to tell us about how early Earth can give us a better understanding of what we might find when we look out at the exoplanets. Phone charging. Brilliant. To give you an idea about uh, beard looks good, the hair, I needed some product in the hair today, but it's okay. This is the first plant swag that I've got. This is an awesome idea. And now everybody's trying to get into this hall because Bill Gates is talking next. So with that, uh, I give you Bill Gates.
Well, good afternoon. Uh, it's great to see the large group here. As you get more extreme weather conditions, floods, droughts, uh, you get uh, more pests and disease. And it means the percentage of years where your crop almost entirely fails will go up very substantially. And of course, then that means those kids, the rates of malnutrition uh, can go up even higher. When we first started our foundation, we were very optimistic about the power of innovation. You know, I had the experience from Microsoft where uh, that all went well. In looking at the global health work, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Um, what are you hoping that, that this can um, provide to people who are very impacted by these sorts of natural disasters? What I'm hoping this provides is first a methodology. Behind me is a really great thing that I think we should try to import from the AAAS meetings to the AAAS meetings, and that is a stage being used for live podcast recordings. Yeah. I participated in one of these before. It's a lot of fun as a speaker. It's fun as an audience member, and it'd be a great way to use the iPoster sessions or the presentation theaters in the poster hall when they're not being used for main talks. This could be a great thing to add to AAAS. We should take all the good ideas from these other meetings and steal them and use them in the AAAS meetings as well. Let's make this happen. Hello everyone, we're about to start our Mimic project presentation. Uh, we're going to make some noise over here, so sorry about that. <laughs> I love it. All right, it's just before five, and the one problem with having conferences at your hometown is you have to go home. A very interesting day at AAAS. Tomorrow's astronomy session is about SETI, technosignatures, and search for life in the universe. And you know that's my cup of coffee. So, we'll see you tomorrow.